I have a fear that very soon Bhutan might get the phallus made out of plastics, <laughs> which is then going to turn into waste. By the way, I'm a trash collector. I'm a trash guy. I'm known as a trash guy in Bhutan. And me, coupled with some of my friends, we have started Bhutan's first waste management initiative. When, when I came to TED, uh, it was sharing of ideas, and I, I, I have a belief that everyone has own ideas. And in terms of my say, I'm going, to, uh, I'm going to talk about how our project came up and how it's acting as a solution to the current problem. Lah. Are you part of the problem? Lah? Let us not deny the fact that we are all part of the problem. But it is high time now we need to change our perception. Lah. So this was the moment, this is the landfill that Thimpu has, which is in between well, you drive to Dochula, you'll find on the way. This landfill was designed in the year 1994 with a life expectancy of almost 10 years, but it, st it started overflowing very soon. I was very young when all those things happened. Like, and when I came back to capital city, we traveled to landfill, we could find, we felt that we could identify something. Like, we identified a market we discovered nothing, let me tell you very frankly. We did nothing special. All I did was, we identified a market and we thought we can do something out of trash. So in the landfill, that, that's the reason I'm telling you we all can be part of, and part of the solution now. We should stop talking about problems. Everywhere I go these days, we, almost all Bhutanese talks about problem. And just two nights, uh, two nights ago, I was in a bar, I see my friends talking about problems. We see our smart people writing so many things over the Facebook, and that is all about problem. But have we thought of being a solution now? So we, we decided, well, why not well, we start something? When I say three E's of GW, GW stands for Greener Way, and we are taking this GW as also a step. We have named it, uh, in our own way, we take it as goodwill. Now. We wanted to do something on trash. And in the year 2010, we started, this is the shack, shack where we started operating. We started collecting trash. We wanted to educate people. And we came up with our own three E's. First thing, when I talk about E's, there are so many three E's. There are three E's of uh, management, three E's in Education, but we have our own three E's, and that is environment. Lah. First E stands for environment. Bhutan is known for environment. We have been branded as a green and clean country, but sadly now things are not that way. So many things are imported. All the dress that you're wearing today is going to be trash tomorrow, mind you. The things you are holding in your hand right now is going to be trash tomorrow. Please be informed. Lah. These, these, these are the facts. And everything's are getting into our environment. Like. We have extracted enough from the uh, environment. We have designed things that is required, that someone has dreamed for. This mic was a dream of someone, just to amplify the sound. And today it is here. Then we started thinking of our own dream, and our dream is to solve the waste issue. People had a dream of making hotels, aeroplane, so many big things. And our dream is to make sure we handle every trash once those stuff become trash someday. So it is a very clear way of contributing to the environment. This used to be the scene long time ago in Bhutanla. And we, do, we have a lot of awareness program being conducted on, on waste. Lah. But waste management is still a new subject in Bhutan until recently, 1990s. I believe this waste issue started coming in. So when we started, we were going everywhere, like starting from riversides to drains, and we could find trash littered all across. Deep inside, we had a pain, and we thought we, we should do something from our heart, not for publicity stunts, seriously. And now this is what's happening with us. We, reco we started recovering all the plastic waste. We started recovering the waste that has no value, and can you see the uh, products behind these young kids? Like, these young kids are ambassadors. We are treating them, we are, tr we are educating them, and we know that by the time they reach to our age, 
Bhutan is going to be beautiful. I have that hope. That's the reason we are educating all the young kids. And the product behind those kids are what we deal in, what we deal with. These are plastic products that was once upon a time littered all across the streets. Okay, the first thing, so this is to one of the ease of green away environment. Second is economy. Third is employment law. When I say about economy, let me tell you there are a lot of informal sectors, informal economy happening in every economy. People on the top doesn't know that in the bottom there's overcrowded economy, informal economy happening there. And those economies are very much informal and our intention was to create a formal economy out of trash management. And we did, we did that. It might sound like I'm talking too much, but let me tell you the figure, let me give you a figure. We have more than 200 people making living from trash now. So in that way, we have also started ex exporting this recyclable waste to all across India, and we have created economy out of it. Employment, when I'm talking about employment, uh, our employment ratio is hardly 3.1, which, which is mentioned by, it was published in one of the articles of Ministry of Labor. We have a lot of em em employment issues, it has been said, but I don't think there is employment issues because in other parts of the world, in Spain, for example, I believe there is more than 50% of youth unemployed, in Greece, 35%, so Bhutan shouldn't be a problem. But we wanted to take timely measures, and now we have employed quite a lot of people. So in this way, in informal economy, employments are created. People have to, thank you for giving me platform, but I'm just sharing you that a lot of employment being created in the, in the informal economy. Lab. Act now to have it only. All of us have visions, all of us has our dream, but none of us are really working towards it. Lab. Let us all act together, and together we can clean the country, together we can clean the globe. We should come, we should think as a local now. Lastly, on this auspicious day, I would like to remind you what His Master the King has been repeatedly mentioning and arguing us, like urging us to do. So it is not a question of whether we have the capability to achieve success. The question is, will we make the choice to stand up and take responsibility? Will we choose to make a difference now? Together we can make a difference. And I'm sure our small, my small story of sharing this might have changed the perception of how you look things now. Thank you very much. You guys have a good day.